to my channel. It's been so long since I've posted anything on YouTube. I am heading over to my parents' house right now to do a highly requested Q&A with Jill. Cade is driving us on his way to coach baseball lessons. We're sharing a car right now because we recently shipped his car to Arizona for the baseball season. So, yay, and Truly is coming, of course. to run that way. Hello. Hello. I'm here with Jill. And we're going to do a q and I'm your mom. I'm not <laughs> Jill. I'm your mom to you. We're going to do, you're a very highly requested Q&A person. Okay. So we're going to answer some questions and we're going to bake your famous chocolate mm -hmm. chip cookies. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had them, you can never have anybody else's. They're the best, right, right? They're the best. Tell them. All right. What's the secret ingredient? Oh, you know my secret ingredient, right? No. <laughs> I've said this before. Made with love. Oh. Seriously, <laughs> that is the saying. secret ingredient. All right, go ahead. You start asking there. I it's thought so. you were being serious. Okay. I, I am. I've said that before. It's love. Do we want to do it? Look, bear back there. Okay, we're going to make cookies. Yeah, chocolate that chip. Stuff. Here, I have the butter. What I do, Ryan? Is I do half butter, half Crisco. So I might oh, know that. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's. I'm telling you all my secrets. Let's get some questions. Okay. The first question someone asked is Did you dance at Abby Lee's studio? If so, why weren't you ever featured on the show? I think that was to me, not you. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that was to you, <laughs> not me. And the answer is yes, I did dance at Abby Lee's in high school, but the show was geared towards like the younger kids, so mm -hmm. the older kids just were never on it. Well, you were a couple times. Like in the background. But they weren't featured, they just, yeah. if you guys were doing a dance, they had a lot of the older girls, older numbers on. Yeah, so yeah. we were always there, we got most of the competitions, but our numbers just weren't featured. And you guys were there a lot of times when we were filming in one room, you were rehearsing and having oh, yeah. class, remember? Yeah. You were there a lot. We were always there, just not on camera. Yeah. So yes, I did dance at ALDC. Mom, you're gonna like the next question. Okay. It says, what is her skincare routine? She looks fabulous. Oh, I do like that, except, you know, I just had a little facial, so my skin is a little rough. My Skincare routine, I've just used the same products for years and years, like 25 years. And I think- Consistency. Mm-hmm. So I wash with my Chanel face wash, which I gave to all three of my children, all through their puberty and teen years when their face was breaking out and it prevented it. So it's the Mousse de Soar face wash from Chanel. And moisturize, moisturize. I use a toner and a serum all from chanel and which trust me i wish it wasn't chanel i just found that that worked best for my skin and and i like um i do wear lots of foundation you like but estee the, lauder i like foundation. estee lauder foundation and the beauty of that is i don't like to go out of the house as you know without makeup mm -hmm. it's just part of me it's like when i get dressed and i have to put my makeup on um but that helped with sunscreen. So mm -hmm. I don't have as many freckles as I would had I because not. Because you wore sunscreen. Well, no, time. because I wore foundation, foundation, which has sunscreen in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't put That's sunscreen secret, on. That's guys. My sunscreen face. Sunscreen in the foundation. Yeah, sorry, that was really long. No, that was good. <laughs> you felt too much. Do you know the recipe by heart? I do. Making these cookies since you were a wee baby. Do you remember I used to make them like the first day of school was always you guys. Kinda. I don't know if you remember, but from first grade on, every first day of school, you guys would come home and I'd have. Yeah, I feel like that I'd just have... unlocked the memory for me. Yeah, like, I forgot that you did that. Yeah, I remember. Ooh, you spilled I know, flour sorry. on me. No poof of flour. Okay, the next question is, how did you feel when Riley told you she was going to be on So Sharp? Which, this is a funny question. Yes, because I was a teeny bit instrumental 
and getting so, don't you think? And yes. Getting so sharp organized. I sent our producers up to Riley's school in her college. The University of Louisville. The University of Louisville because I, I loved Todd Sharp. I knew he was a little phenom just as much as you guys were amazing dancers. Um, so I knew once they took a look at Todd and these girls, they'd be like, we got a show here. It was good. So she told her producers mm -hmm. to come see us because she knew it would just be like very entertaining. Mm -hmm. So she kind of was in on it. Like I didn't say, hey mom, this is happening. You just kind of, like you knew already. Because yeah. Because it was your, kind of your idea. <laughs> yeah, I knew. I, I You know, and the funny thing is, right, I don't know if you know this, but I told Brian, Brian Stinson, who was the dance mom's, one of the dance mom's creators and producers, um, that I could have helped produce. Like, not that I wanted to get, you know, I didn't want any accolades. I just knew the girls and I knew the drama. I knew all the yeah. stuff that was going on just because I'm a dance mom and we lived it and I knew. But Brian went up there. And they didn't know anybody. That's funny. I didn't yeah, know. I wanted, and you know, he would ask, "What do you think about this?" But I really wanted, wanted to help produce. Can I have a job? Storylines. No, you read your question. That's okay. Your job. Set, aside, set aside. Okay. Favorite activities to do with your mom. Aww. I feel like we're gonna say the same thing. So I'll say three. On three. Yeah. One, two, three. Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> Oh. It was so fun on my birthday. We went shopping at the Anthropology Home Outlet and Crate and Barrel. And oh. bought stuff for my house. And isn't it funny how our shopping has changed yeah. over the years? Because it used to be, it used to be all about clothes and jewelry yeah. and makeup and hair stuff. And now that Riley's grown and has a home, and she's a wife now, so she, you know we go shopping for house things, which is great. I and kitchen say, things. We yeah. The kitchen things. I would say we love to shop together and love. We, <laughs> we like to work out together too. We don't that much anymore because schedules. Yeah. But we used to do pure oh, bar a lot. I, love, I miss it too. I'm going to go back. Next question. Oh, someone said, I need a home tour with Jill. Her decor is always fabulous. Oh, I love that. Thank you. I really, as much as I love to shop, I love to rearrange things in my house and, and you know, each season I do something a little different just for fun because I love it. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah. I'll do a house tour sometime. Do you have any fun decor you want to show everyone? Um, Maybe. Well, look, I just, did you see that? That blue That's, pot? That is the, pretty. I was looking at it. See, earlier. I just did that today. I'll go, I'll show the camera. The, the flowers are from Pottery Barn. Pottery barn. And then, so you bought the vase separate. Yeah, the vase was separate. Where's the vase from? The vase, believe it or not, is from Home Goods. Love it. And um, and then I had those clear crystal rocks. Yeah. Show us your new Lulu outfit. Oh. You're wanting to wear it's it. It's a little baggy, but cute. You like it? Love Slippers it. From Riley V for my birth. No, I got you this for Christmas. Sorry. <laughs> Love it. Hi, Drew. Here's our progress. Okay, I'm gonna do, I like one little extra spoonful of brown sugar. Oh, an extra brown sugar. Okay, what made Jill put you girls in dance? Well, my sister has, your cousins, who are a little bit older, danced from the get-go, ballet and tap and jazz and all that, and of course, when you start your kids out in dance, ballet is the first thing. And mm -hmm. I just, I just loved it. And it was, I loved watching them. I loved sitting there. I loved watching you, even when you were babies. I remember up at Rogers the first day. So you sat at dance competitions when you were a baby watching your cousins. Yeah. And then when you, as soon as you were out of diapers, I put your little chubby legs in your tights and took you and you sat and watched class forever. And then when it was time for you to go in, you're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, what? You've watched dance That's forever. Funny. Yeah, you were afraid. You were Aww. afraid to leave me. And I, I just thought for sure you'd go running in. And I didn't want to. You were a little scared at first. But Kendall probably went running in. 
She's yeah, more, Kay did. Yeah. She's more ambitious. Than you know, me. no, not that different. But oh. Kendall used to sit in class in the room yeah. when you guys were dancing. So she just thought she was she in class was when it. she was a baby. She was sitting in class. Speaking of Kendall, she FaceTimed me on my way over here. Do you know what I'm going to say? No, I haven't talked to that little devil all day. What? <gasps> Is everything okay? What? Yeah. She bought a cat. Oh. Did you know that? No. Oh my god. Gosh, what kind? No. I told her she wasn't allowed. Oh god. So you knew she was thinking about it though? Well, she said, can I get a cat? And I said no. Sorry, okay, don't tell her I told you. <laughs> I thought you knew. That's, you know what? That's why she hasn't called me. That little brat and she Okay, back to it. How did you come up with names for your girls? I liked that question. Oh gosh. Well, I. I Can I mix this? Oh no, yeah, let me get the mixer. Yeah, let me get the mixer. Riley's name is spelled a little differently, and I liked my plan when I named my kids was I didn't want a name that reminded me of someone else. Like I didn't want to give you a name that someone else we knew already had. Yeah. So at the time I didn't know a single Riley and now they're your age, about your age, mm -hmm. all these there are quite a few Rileys and but I spell Riley's name R Y L E I G H as you guys probably know. <laughs> I think they know maybe. But so it didn't look like a last name and it didn't yeah. look too masculine. I thought it was feminine like Riley. Love it. Like Thanks. Me. Riley Valor. Um Mom What? I never say my middle name. <laughs> Why? I love your middle name. Do you not say it because you don't like it? It's growing on me. Riley, that's Mom, a you knew that. Moving on to Charlotte. And same with Charlotte. I didn't know, did we know any Charlottes? That is a popular name now. I like know. A, a well, now it's Princess Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte is, but I just loved Charlotte and we call her Charlie. And Kendall, um, I, Kendall's so much younger than you guys, but Christian. Um, I was reading a book, uh, a Sandra Brown book, which is... Plug it in. Oh, no, I can't get this in. It's right there. And one of the characters' names was named Kendall, and I thought, I don't know any Kendalls, and I liked it. That's cute. Yeah, so honestly, I, Kendall Deaton, I remember her last name from the, from the book I was reading. There. Okay, you can mix that. Let me turn the oven on. Just put it on medium. Yeah. All that butter and everything mixed in. Turn this. Oh, this one. Someone said, "Tell us all about wedding planning together." Oh, it was so fun. Oh my God, so fun because Riley was actually really accommodating. You're like a good. Well, she was very organized. Type totally, a. totally organized. Had her. Her planners and your wedding books and all the people she knew, the vendors that she wanted. The only thing that we weren't sure of was where the wedding was going to be. Yeah. Really. Right? Yeah. It was like, I mean, once we found it, we like knew this is it. Yeah. Well, you found it and said, you have to come look at this place. Yeah. And then we drove up together and looked at it. Cade was away for baseball, so he didn't even see it before we booked it. And what I, was your first impression of it, Ryan? Um, it was just like very grand. Like your first, the first glimpse of the property is just grand. I don't know how else yeah. to say it. So yeah, it's like it a is. good first. But it's impression. old and historic. So yeah, it's funny. You think it, you know, you, well, you, you thought know, grand. Like Here, I'm gonna turn that it. off, and I'll put this in, and then is that mixing it? Yeah. No, no. Now you mix it again with it. Okay. Um, I think we. The two of us planned well together. Like we never clashed really because no. we have similar styles and like vibes that we like. So yeah, I agree. it was really fun. It was super fun. I tell everybody, all my friends, anybody who asks, that this is probably the only wedding that I'll get to help with. Because, Why? Well, because you and your sisters are so different. Like. Charlotte will probably 
do a destination wedding, you know, not a big, that. and Kendall will probably come home one day and say, oh yeah, mom, by the way, I got married. <laughs> She'll probably elope and we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, that's so I so made true. the most of like that planning and we got to, as you know, Rye was on. We were on Say Yes to the Dress. So oh, fun. So fun. I recommend going to Kleinfeld's. Okay. Oh, good. Tell them, uh, put tell them about you trying to find a dress to wear to my wedding. Yeah, that was. You had like seven. Yeah, that's okay. That was. Um, the hardest part, I hate to say it like that, but. I loved all of them. That was the hardest part for me was finding a dress that I felt comfortable, that I wanted to be photographed. You know, that, yeah. I don't know. I that was, that was difficult dress. for me. Still to this day, a year and a half later. Yeah, don't you? I think so, I mean, I'm not, like I can't even look at my wedding photos because <laughs> I hated my hair from 30 years. We've been. Married 30 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have this is the best part. We have to look at. Oh, I got the big, you want the big part? Mmm. It's gonna be a good one. Oh my gosh. Just taste that extra sugar. So good. Gooey. Okay, one thing about you, Mom, mm. is that you're notorious for putting things in the oven and forgetting about them. I know. I know. Not my cookies, though. I All learned. the time. Oh, we'll I put a timer goodness. for these cookies. No, no, I, I stand right here. I have my light on, I just watch them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we need to mix the chocolate chips in? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a really good batch, I can tell. Okay. Yeah. Made with love. That's why. Let's FaceTime Kendall and see if she tells us. Oh. You don't kinda, want to? Yeah, I'm a little angry with her. I do, I kinda, and I like them big. Hi. Hi. What are you smiling about? What did you do? Yeah, I think you know what I did. Riley, you're such an oh my god. What did you do? What and she is not an awful person. What do you what? Okay, Kendall, first of all, I thought she already knew. Ken Kendall K oh, he's scared. Mom, he's so cute though. He is really He's cute. Do you hear him? Is it a girl or boy? Here, wait, go away and... Okay. I just got a litter, I just got a food. Oh, wait, show you, find the kitty. I'm showing you on, um... Me. Oh. Kendall, I did think that mom already knew. Did you think I wasn't gonna find out? You another secret, Riley. Oh, Kendall, oh, okay. I, I thought she knew. Well, he can't go outside, you know. I know. Well, I opened my window, so he's gonna sit out there, and like when I'm out in the kitchen. Going in. Big cookies. Going in. Yeah, they are big. Yeah, I like them better big. And then I don't have to make so many. I did it. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, do you want me to transfer to the thing? You want to do it? Okay. Second batch going in. These look so good. Mom, what did you say? You got distracted when they were cooking, like I said. You would. I did get a little <laughs> tad distracted from Kendall. She did it. It's her fault. It's okay, they still look good. They're not burned at all. I can't wait to try it. They're probably too hot. They're still cool. And then we're gonna put them on this plate that has your motto on it, made with love. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna okay. anything to drink? Time for a taste test. Oh yeah. You like she has to get her funny napkins. Come in now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> they almost slid off. Yeah. Let's see what the napkins say. Keep it pretty, please. Okay. okay. I want this one. Ooh. Okay. It's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Warm. Cheers. Mmm. The list, right? Best ones yet. Okay. Mm. One last question. I was saving this one for last. For you. Does she still have the famous cowboy hat? Mm -hmm. Chocolate on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in the middle. <laughs> 
Let me see. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> so do you? I do, of course I do. I love mm. that hat. Cool. And you know, kind of everybody made fun of it when I wore it. But I was started the trend. I wasn't wearing it to be a joke. I was wearing it because I love that hat and we were in Texas and it and I had my cowboy boots on. It just made sense. But everybody I didn't know went you were in Texas. For we that. were in Texas. Mm -hmm. Aw, cute. Mm -hmm. Um where's it from? The hat. The hat is from I, I believe it or not, it's from a catalog Boston proper, I believe it's called. Hmm. I used to have swimsuit stuff. It's kind of like a beach hat and as you know mm -hmm. I wear it at the beach but I do still have it so mm. I get it if you want to yeah that is the end of our Q&A thanks for watching yay bye <laughs> <laughs>